Hi everyone, this is Andrew Kisson, Director of Marketing with Zon Dental. I'm here with Dr. Stephanie Benite, Morrison's Director of 3D Printing Projects. Doctor, how are you? Good, how about you, Andrew? I'm doing well. I know it's early your time, so thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. Doctor, you hold a PhD and your focus has been on 3D printing and printing resins. What about the printing world has drawn you to this field? It's a great question. Um, you know, my, my background really is in chemistry and, and characterizing the properties of different materials, including polymer materials and specifically also photopolymers that are used in 3D printing. And I'm particularly um, really interested and passionate about photopolymer 3D printing. I think that the different types of 3D printers and technologies, as well as materials that are coming out, really are going to further enable the technology for uh, mass production applications and bespoke customization applications such that are needed in dentistry. Being in dental, when I hear of printing, printing resins, it all sounds the same to me. What exactly is the difference of a photopolymer from another polymer and, and why does it matter? Yeah, so photopolymers are specifically polymers that uh, really function in the presence of light. Um, and specifically in these types of technologies that are used in 3D printing, uh, light that's in the UV range. Um, so similar to those types of light rays that you're getting from the sun when you're walking outside. There are um, other resins that are available, but in the context of 3D printing, that's the majority of, of what those resins are. In dental, right, Myerson's been uh, a dental company for over 100 years, and you bring this unique background of 3D printing and, and the scientific side of it. Myerson's launching a new product. Can you give us a first look or give us a little behind the scenes at Trusana? Yeah, it's, it's a product that we're really excited about. It's been developed over several years at Myerson, and it really is a unique chemistry for compared to what exists currently in other 3D printable photopolymer resins that are available. I will say it has some really excellent properties as far as the strength and flexibility that one might require in dental applications. And it also is uh, highly stable to water, which as you can imagine, when the materials being exposed in the mouth and dental applications is also very important. So it's one we're really excited about and look forward to, to getting out there in the market. In dental, it's no secret that removables and denture fabrication is a labor intensive uh, process. Skilled technicians are declining while baby boomers are, are growing. So the need for dentures and products like Trusana just continues to grow. How does a dental laboratory or how can a dental laboratory print dentures using this product or why would it make sense for somebody that's focused on removables? Well, number one, the Trusana product has a lot of the properties that are required uh, and demanded of dentures when the patients wear them. Um, in addition, the, the preliminary feedback that we've gotten in, in development testing has been that the workflow is also simpler and less complex compared to other materials in the market. So, you know, where, where time is very precious in the lab and resources might be scarce, um, we certainly take that into account and, and really push for an, a, a workflow that is more streamlined and simpler to yield a, a premium material. You talked a little about uh, the chemical properties and, um, you know, why it's better. What does that mean to the patient? You know, when you're talking about flexural strength and the modulus and fracture toughness, at the end of the day, how does that impact maybe a denture uh, that's going into the patient's mouth? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question because that's really what's most important, right? And it really has to do with, with comfort. Um, when you have a flexible plastic material, um, it's lighter weight than say a metal or a composite or a filled material. Um, it's, it's, it fits better to the, the form of your mouth. Um, and so really we, we think that it really will translate to uh, something that's just more comfortable to wear for the patient. When a laboratory is interested in printing or using Trisana, 
Are there any key factors or instructions that you would recommend anything that they should know of, Hey, it's validated for this technology or just anything that I, that a user needs to know. We are basically going to be announcing a couple of different printers that Trusana is validated for initially. We're certainly working on uh, definitely other printers as well that will be able to print Trusana, but that's definitely coming and, and we're excited to launch with those uh, printer partners. Anything coming down the line that uh, dental laboratories or the dental industry should be on the lookout from from Myerson and the Trusana team. I, I believe at launch, Trusana is just available for teeth, but maybe the denture base is soon to follow. Can you can you share any insights on the base? Yeah, absolutely. The the denture base is, has been developed, and we're just kind of putting the the finishing touches on that um, and and going through the regulatory process. So I anticipate that that will be available in Q1 of 2022. We're also working on some um, ancillary but complementary products as well as far as the, the printing workflow. So stay tuned for those as well from Meyerson. And uh, we've got some other, um, other products in the works that really build on this type of family of chemistry that we're using in Trusana. So stay tuned for those as well um, come next year. So I'm, I'm not a scientist and I'm not a technician. Uh, so you'll have to ignore the ignorance of this question, but when I hear Trusana teeth and Trusana base made of the same material or chemistry, that sounds good. That sounds like a good thing to have for a lab and for a patient. Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, uh, tell, me, tell me about that. <laughs> Andrew, I think you're spot on. Uh, it is a good thing because it means that the materials are consistent. They'll print similarly and uh, we'll have really good fit, I think, for the patients that will be using them. Um, not only that, but when it comes to bonding those things together, um, there will also be uh, uniform uh, aesthetics that you'll be able to see with, with both materials once the base is available. Doctor, it's been so exciting of the evolution in dentistry and you know how CAD CAM has evolved and you know, Meyerson's been involved with that from taking some of their materials or taking some of your materials from uh, analog, traditional merchandise, packaging them in millable discs, and now to take it, you know, to the next step of 3D printing, where I believe we all know that the industry is going is, is just so exciting. Congratulations to you and the Meyerson team on continuing to move dentistry forward. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. And uh, really, you know, we're very, very excited about digital dentistry and, and believe it is the future, as you said. So we're making investments in that area to deliver premium products um, for digital dentistry that can be 3D printed. So we're glad to be a part of part of this and uh, really look forward to getting more of our products out there. Well, I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing uh, what comes out of Myerson next. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Appreciate the opportunity.